I work in earthquake system science research. We're interested in both the uh, scientific basis of earthquakes, um, when they occur, why they occur, uh, when they stop, um, as well as the impact of earthquakes, uh, how they affect the built environment, how they affect uh, society. Instead of waiting for a big earthquake to happen, we do physics-based simulations um, of what we call scenario earthquakes. Earthquakes that might happen, or actually we'll do simulations of historic earthquakes, earthquakes that have happened. From those simulations, we use the results basically to inform both scientists, government agencies, the general public. We have invested software development time in GPU-based software because we need more computational power. Uh, we make uh, extensive use of the GPUs on both Titan and Blue Waters. Now there's a communication between the geoscientists who are saying, here's how strong the ground shaking is going to be, and the engineers who are saying, ooh, I've got a building, and I'm going to evaluate my building to see whether those ground motions would damage my building. So the practical and the broad impact are, the, are protecting people, making more suitable buildings, stronger buildings, we performed a scenario earthquake simulation called the shakeout scenario. This showed what the ground motions would be in Southern California, including Los Angeles, for a magnitude 7.8 earthquake. And they said, what if this actually happens? What would the impact on our built environment be? Um, what would the, how many people would be injured and killed? How many fires would they be? What would the economic losses be? And the city of LA used it to inform their basically seismic hazard plan. And as a result, they've introduced new rules. So the recommendations were included uh, to eliminate or reduce what they call soft story buildings. Those are uh, things where the building, they have like a parking garage underneath. Uh, they had another um, recommendation that came out was non-reinforced concrete buildings, something that were built in the, uh, before the 1950s. Are, are a hazard and could be damaged by the ground motions. One other uh, conclusion I thought was very important was to change the building codes for their cell phone towers. The previous codes said they have to be strong enough so they won't fall down uh, out and hurt anyone during an earthquake. But the new codes say they have to be able to operate after the earthquake occurs. That's a significant change and I think that's a significant impact that we've had.